when something becomes resonant, and this is something that you know we can experience in our conversation, that 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 you know the person's talking about what's meaningful and resonant, uh, and it's like there's a light, a beam of light that that touches the mo other mountain tops. You know, there's that beam of light that other 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 experiences start to light up because they're vibrating to the same, the same resonance that, that, yeah. It's a lovely image, I think, and, and something that we can recognise in, in the conversation that, that starts to bring things, into, bring things into our consideration that we hadn't thought before. And I think that is the way this landscape operates. It's associational, it's not just linear. It, things that are of the same ilk start to be brought together. But that, um, yeah, that all of our, I think all of our story development questions, questions about the experience, about our bodily experience of things, that's where we're really, really drawing on the feeling, the sensation of it. Um, that in the end, all of the questions that are about story development, I think, can contribute to resonance. Because uh, we're linking. We're linking our experience with what's meaningful, with what's meaningful with our experience. We're linking the past, we're linking with the present, linking with the future, if that's part of it. Uh, and we're linking things in this landscape. And we're linking with other people, and we're linking with having somebody listen to us, sometimes just Having the listener uh, is a link that can contribute to our resonance.